Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. First of all, Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a lovely festive season. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm excited for the new year. Got a lot of plans for this year and we'll see how it goes. Let's just get right to it. We all know why we're here. We're here to review the Fenty Beauty Concealer, which I have right here. Yeah, we're gonna get right into this. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it. You're gonna see me apply it. We're gonna see how it applies, how it feels, and how long it lasts as well, because I'm going to put it to the test. So, before we get right into the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then please join the family and hit the subscribe button down below, either there or there. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, then please do check out my Instagram. I'm mainly on there, not really on Snapchat or Twitter or anything like that. So it's just Instagram. Check that out in the description bar below. Enough babbling, we're gonna get right into it. So I've already moisturized my face. I'm gonna get right in and start priming my face for my foundation. Now I have tried the Fenty Beauty foundation before. I really liked it, but the shade that I had was not a great match and this is a shade that was chosen for me when I actually went to the store. Now that shade was 430. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it sub somewhere up here so you can click on that. So I think the next time I go back out and get it again, I'm gonna get the shade 420. I feel like that might be a closer match to me. So for today, I'm gonna use the Born This Way foundation in the shade Chai. So before I do that, I'm just going to prime my face. And the primer that I've been loving recently is this primer right here, which is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It feels amazing on the skin. It's very moisturizing and hydrating. And it pairs really, really well with the foundation. Now that we've primed our skin, we're ready to go in with the foundation. If you guys haven't tried this foundation, then I don't know where you've been, you've been missing out. So I've just put one pump on the back of my hand. I'm just going to start off with one pump. And if I feel like I need more, then I will go into it. And you know what? For me nowadays, a little bit goes a long way. Like less is more. Obviously I'm using a beauty blender, so it does suck up quite a bit of the product, but it's fine anyway. One layer works well for me. And again, I match my foundation shades to my chest because that's what works best for me. Now we're gonna go in with the star of the show, which is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Obviously I'm aware that they came up with some powders as well, etc., etc. To be honest, I didn't really want to get the powders this time around. I think I might at a later date get the, the rest of the stuff. At the moment, I don't really need it. So I do want to buy something that I don't need. I needed a new concealer and I wanted to try this out. So let's go in. I've got the shade 390. I did see um, what colours they had and I thought 390 would be a best match for me. Fingers crossed it works. So we're going to go right in with this. And I've been told a little bit goes a long way as well. This is what 390 looks like. It's very golden, very golden. The, the concealer that I was using before this was the NARS concealer in um, Amand. That was the concealer that worked well for me, but that was more of like a natural concealer, not much of a highlight. This shade is obviously more of a highlight, so let's see how it looks anyway. Okay. Right, it blends out really well and easily as well. I'm, I'm thinking with the shade, if I've got it right or not, we'll see. I hope I like this concealer, otherwise, mate, I've wasted money. Okay. Mm. Okay, it's very, very golden. I didn't expect it to be as golden as it is but it looks nice at the moment I do tend to get under eye creasing as well so I'm hoping this will work well for me in regards to that so that's one side blended and I like it at the moment it looks really nice it blended really really well so this is one layer what do you guys think I actually like it. Obviously, I know I have 
more on this side than that side so i am going to go in with a little bit more before i do that i'm just going to contour uh, because i like to blend my concealer into my contour so i'm going to get right in and contour i haven't used the matchstick for a while to contour with because i kind of felt it was a little bit too dark and too red but i'm going to try it today see how it looks i'm only going to do a little bit i've not been much of a big fan of contouring recently i've been more so of a fan of bronzing than contouring so yeah i've not i've not been contouring that much recently yeah i mean i think in summer this will be fine to contour with for me personally for me i just feel like it's too dark i don't like the undertone it's winter there's no sun and I just don't like how it looks so I'm gonna go back in with another layer of that concealer put more on this eye and a little bit here right now the shade I think it's okay personally I'm not a big fan of the shade it's just a tad bit too golden for me personally I think yeah just a little little bit but it's still nice I still like it my forehead is not that big but still we want to shine bright shine bright so still gonna raise that up a little bit okay they said a little bit goes a long way I personally don't feel like I've used that much okay What do you think guys? Do you like it? Yes or no? And I'm going to set my under eyes with the RCMA No Colour Powder. And we'll see how it looks together. This is what I use on a daily basis. I just put, put it in here. Tap the excess off the back of my hand. Uh huh. It looks good so far. Definitely matte for sure, no doubt. But it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel cakey. I'm not sure, like, I'm not going to lie. When I first saw that this concealer was coming out, I did get excited. But I feel like the foundation launch got me more excited. I'm not sure why. Everyone's been waiting for um, Rihanna to come out with, Fenty Beauty to come out with some concealers. Because obviously the matchsticks not everyone was feeling them we wanted liquid concealers now they have 50 different shades 50 guys so you're bound to find your color somewhere they've got different undertones that are catering to a, a large amount of people especially the dark sisters as well so you should be able to find your shade i'm just going to put some laura mercier powder around here because of my small lines and just around here as well. I think it looks okay. I think by the end of my makeup, I will probably like it even more. At the moment, I think it looks nice. It looks okay. I'm not mad about it, but I do like the way it looks. I think what I really want to see is how it holds up. Um, because when I'm going to work, I'm I have my makeup on for like 10, 10 plus hours. So if it doesn't hold up then that's a big issue obviously I, today i don't know if i'm going to be able to test it for 10 plus hours but we'll see how it looks after a couple of hours i'm just going to finish the rest of my face come back and we'll talk about it a little bit more okay i've just finished most of my face i wanted to come back and quickly show you guys because i noticed it started creasing slightly excuse me under my eye i do struggle with creasing quite a bit um and the main concealer that doesn't really cause me any creasing is the mac pro longwear concealer which is this one this is just um yeah this one is the only one so far that i can really say has not caused me like much creasing um it is a, obviously a pro longwear concealer so it's full coverage this is full coverage as well but i don't know what it is like look let me just bring you guys in a little bit 
if you look, I got some slight crease in there. So that's a little bit of a, a pain. I've just used the Fenty Beauty matchsticks on my eyelids. Um, and I'm just gonna quickly do my lips. So for my lips, most of you guys that watch me will know, but I use the Expresso matchstick as a lip liner. This is my absolutely favorite to use as a lip liner. I haven't had to bother buying any new lip liners or anything and come on fair enough it's quite short but it's so thick like it's gonna last a long time i bought this when it first came out when was that a year ago maybe i'm not sure but this is my absolute favorite and if you're my skin tone will deeper then or even a little bit lighter this should work and then i go in with concealer on my lips you guys already know the ones that watch me that I like to use the Revolution C13 on my lips so I do go with concealer first and this helps make my lip make my lipsticks last longer I just go in with a little bit it isn't nearly finished anyway so I do need to buy a new one NYX lipstick in T I'm going to go with the Fenty Gloss Bomb. And once I'm done with my face, as you guys know, I am going to set it. Before I do that, because the concealer creased a little bit under my eye, I'm just going to add a little bit more powder. I was surprised that it creased this quickly. I mean, I, didn't, I don't feel like I put a lot, but let's see anyway. Okay, that has helped a little bit. Now I'm officially done. I've set my face with a setting spray, um, a hydrating spray, sorry, which is this vitamin E super drug spray. You guys know already that I use this. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna leave this on for a couple hours and come back and we'll see how it looks like. Um, the shade, I kind of wish that I got the shade 420 at the moment because I just feel like this shade 390 is just a little bit too golden for me. On camera, it's a little bit more yellow than it is in person. Just a tiny, tiny bit more golden on camera than it is in person. But I do like it so far. I just want to see how it holds up. Um, I don't want to have to mix my fa my concealers, but I think I will go back to, for 420. At the moment, 420 is finished. I checked online yesterday. It was done today, Saturday, by the way. I checked online yesterday, what the day came out Friday and it was sold out. So let's just see how this looks when I come back and I hope you guys like it. I will see you guys very soon. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours now. I just wanted to come back and show you guys what my face is looking like, my under eyes. I'm not sure. I mean, I really do like the concealer, if I'm honest. I do like it. <clears throat> The shade did not appear as golden because it settled into my skin. So I think after like an hour or probably two hours, it didn't look as golden as it did when I first applied it. I'm still going to get the shade 420 um, just to probably put like on the outer part because I feel like it will blend a lot easier and won't be too intense. That's my preference anyway. Um, I think, I don't know, at the moment, like usually by this time it's probably been about five hours my makeup doesn't look like this i don't know if it's the lights maybe it is it makes me look a bit oily but my skin doesn't get oily around this point um especially during the winter when my skin is really dry but at the moment i would definitely say that i do like the concealer so i would definitely be using this um again probably like an everyday concealer the shade is a bit you know but i can make it work for me on a daily basis so yeah that's really my thoughts i don't have much else to say about it 50 shades i mean you're bound to find at least one color in those 50 shades and it's different undertones as well as different tones See, there is just one thing just one little thing the under eye creasing for me personally i did get some creasing don't know if you guys can see that well but i'm gonna try it again tomorrow um i'll change up my technique and then hopefully it will look better but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out any of my videos 
and a notification bell so you get a notification when I do post. If you guys are going to get it, please let me know down below. Let me know your thoughts if you already have it, what you think, what you liked about it, etc, etc. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!